Okay, good morning. Um, before we start the class, let's all begin first with a prayer. Okay, Ms. Rosas, can you lead the prayer? And then the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, good morning, class. Um, let's all start the day with love and respect with one another, okay? So kindly um, face your left and right classmates and tell them that I respect you and you are doing great. Okay, everyone, I respect you and you are doing great. Very good. So, how are you today, class? Are we all good? Okay, that's great. I'm so glad to hear that from you. So I hope that we are in good condition so that it's easy for us to grasp learnings today, right? Okay, so before we start the discussion, let's stand up first and pick up the pieces of paper. Yes, because I've seen lots of plastics and papers in the surroundings and remember my number one rule observe cleanliness inside the classroom yes okay as you throw your trash kindly fall in line and observe um proper social distancing because we are still in the midst of pandemic yes and we need to follow protocols and if possible do not take off your mask yes Thank you for understanding, guys. Okay, please sit down. Yeah. So, Miss Secretary, um, kindly list down who are the absent for today so that I can mark them absent. Yes. So, are we now set? Are we all set today? Okay. So, last meeting, we talked about what? What is our topic last meeting? Yes, Miss Despy. Very good. So last meeting, we talked about pronoun. So what is pronoun? Yes, Miss. Very good. So I guess we are now ready to unlock new lesson today, right? Okay. So class, we are now proceed playing the game. So the, the title for this game is Pass the Box Challenge. So for the mechanics for this is, I will be playing music and by this box, you will be passing this around your classmates. So another thing is, the if the music stops, the one holding the box will say two sentences. But the plot twist there is, for the first sentence, it should be near you. And for the second sentence, it should be far from the student holding the box. All right, so we'll now start the game. Okay, I will give this to one of your classmates, Cheska. All right, Sherby. Yes, so you're the one holding the box. So I want you to give me and your classmates the two sentences. Again, one first sentence should be near you. And for the second sentence, it should be far from you. Okay. I am wearing a mask. Yes, very good. How about the second sentence? The door is closed. All right, very good. Let's give Cherry a round of applause. Okay, class, this afternoon, I want you to create a question using this, this, those, and that. Okay? And I will give you five minutes to create a question. Okay, your five minutes is up. Okay, my question is, what have you observed in the activity? Oh, very good. So, you observe that we are using a demonstrative pronouns like this, this, those, and that. Very good class. Okay. Next question. Have you heard about demonstrative pronouns? 
Oh, wow, very good. Okay, it is a common word that we use it every day, right? Okay. Okay, my next question is, what is the difference between this, this, those, and that? Anyone? Okay, very good. This and those are used to point to something near you. You are correct, okay? For a singular thing, use this, like T-H-I-S, this. For a plural thing, use this, T-H-E-S-E, -E, okay? Remember that class, okay? So, and that and those are used to point to something farther away. Okay, farther away. For a singular thing, use that. It is for a singular. But for a plural thing, use those. Okay. Okay. Very good, class. And then, my last question is, can we change a statement into a question with the demonstrative pronoun? And how? Yes, we can change it into a statement, into a question with the demonstrative pronoun. Very good, class. Wow. Very good. Okay. Like all pronouns, a demonstrative pronoun replaces nouns or noun phrases. More specifically, a demonstrative pronoun stands in for something that has been mentioned or is understood from context. So, when do we use each of these demonstrative pronouns? Okay! So, in order for you to understand and learn more about our topic for today, I will give the meaning. Yes, I will give the meaning again and also give an example of each of the demonstrative pronoun. Are you all excited and ready? Okay, let's start. So, the first demonstrative pronoun is the word this. Yes, you heard it right. It's this. This is used to point out or point one thing that is near from you. Yes, it should be near from you. Take for example, like the sentence, This cake is delicious. Okay, here the context tells us what this represents. So the this represents the word cake or the subject cake. Okay. So the next demonstrative pronoun is this. This. Okay. This is used to point out two or more things or objects that are near from you. Yes, it is also should be near from you. Take for example, like the first sentence I, I used earlier. These cakes are delicious. So this because the cake is not alone. Cakes because there are two or more cakes. Okay, understood? Okay. Remember that with demonstrative pronouns, the antecedent or the noun replaced by a pronoun does not always appear in near, nearby text. The antecedent or the replaced pronoun is often understood from the context of the speaker's surroundings. It should be, it should be in the context about how the speaker speak about something or pointing out something. Yes. And the next demonstrative pronoun is, yes, yes, you, you're, you're right, you're right, Steve, yes, is the word that. That is used to point out thing, a thing or object 
that is far from you. This time, it is not near from you. It is far. Okay. Take for example, that house, I, sorry, my mistake. That is Paul's house. So, it means that the speaker is pointing to a house that is far from him or her. Because he or she used, or I, I may say, I may say, I, I am pointing out to Paul's house. So again, the sample of the that, or the demonstrative pronoun that is, that is Paul's house. Okay, clear? Okay, and the last demonstrative pronoun is the word those. Yes, those. So those used to point out two or more things or objects that are far from you. Or far from you, yes. Yes, I'm right. Far from you. Take for example. Those, those are his clothes. So here, the speaker, or I, I am the speaker, is pointing out many clothes from afar. That is, that is an example of the demonstrative pronoun, those. And now, I have one question for you all. Guess what it is? No? No, that's not right. Okay, James, guess. No? Okay. I think you all didn't read my mind. Okay, I will just tell it. Mm -hmm. Do you think that a statement can be changed into a question? Mm hmm? Okay. All right. So, yes, you all got it. A statement can be changed into a question. In order for you all to understand as well, I will give an example of each. I will give an example or a sample statement and change it into a question for each demonstrative pronoun. Okay, let's start. So the first demonstrative pronoun is this. But I will just I will just say first the sample statement. So the sample statement is disinfectant spray smells good. So remember the sample statement. So from the demonstrative pronoun this the sample statement will be changed into Okay, I have a prop here. Okay. From the from the demonstrative pronoun this 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 disinfectant spray smell good. Okay. I use the demonstrative pronoun this because I am pointing I am pointing or holding a thing that is near from me. Okay, so let's go to the next demonstrative pronouns, or pronoun I mean. The demonstrative pronoun this. Do this disinfectant spray smell good? Okay. And the next demonstrative pronoun is the demonstrative pronoun that. So now, I will put this disinfectant spray away from me. So I will put it there. Okay. So the sample statement will become a question like, Does that disinfectant spray smell good? I am pointing to an object or the, the, the disinfectant spray to be exact away from me. So that so that I will I can use the demonstrative pronoun that. Okay, now, to use the demonstrative pronoun this that require two or more objects or things, 
I will put this also away from me. Okay, this time, the sample st sentence will be turned into a question like, Do those disinfectant sprays smell good? Okay, so did you all get all those usage of demonstrative pronouns? Okay, very good. To enlighten your minds even more about what I discussed and explained earlier, I will wrap it up. Okay, so a statement changes into a question with demonstrative pronouns by just reversing. Yes, you need to reverse it. Reversing the place of demonstrative pronouns from or and the verb. Okay, I know that you observed it earlier, right? Okay, by just giving those examples for each demonstrative pronoun, I know that you learned something. Am I right, class? Very good. So, are we all are we all good? Okay, thank you for listening class. I know that you perhaps grasp grasp something about our discussion for today. Okay, now that we're done discussing our lesson, let us apply what we have learned today. So I want you class to group yourselves into four and I want one representative each group, okay, to get one flag there in the table. Okay? Okay, so are you with your groups ready? Very good. And now this is what we're going to do. I will present pictures and send Says, and you will just have to provide the correct demonstrative pronouns in order to make the sentence correct and complete. And, the, and those flags that you are holding now will be raised when I say go. Understood? Very good. Okay, let's start. Alright, everyone did a very great job. So... I want you now, I want you to stay with your groups and please get one fourth sheet of paper for our short quiz. Okay? Okay. Okay, now please pass your paper. No standing, please just pass it forward. Thank you. Okay, pass it forward. Okay, very good. And for your assignment class, I want you to define what an adjective is and please provide 10 examples. And Understood. Okay, very good. And before we go out, please pick up those pieces of paper under your table and put it in the trash bin. Okay, thank you so much. And that would be all. Thank you for today. Goodbye, class.